<laughs> we have the real you. If you have not been watching the other dailies uh, and the weekly that I put out, go back and watch it. It is a great story and the messaging that is coming out here. And if you don't know me, I'm Michelle with Angel Souls. I don't know why I stuttered over my own name. I am Michelle of Angel Souls. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Say it, say it loud and proud, right? This is our daily message from the angels. And this is all about the real you. Not allowing the narratives to infect us, to tie us down. Because essentially what they're showing me is that these narratives, they have... You've seen this in the movies where there's like a human and there's all these like little probes and lines kind of cords going out all over the place. And it's feeding, I don't know what it is, but it's something that's affecting the nervous system. It's something, oof. Hold up. I, oh. Okay, so I think that's the next thing that we might be told to fear some sort of, my eye is twitching as I'm saying this, um, some neurological disorder that is caused by some disease. That could be the next thing. And maybe it's coming through the water supply. Maybe it's, um, I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I have no idea where it comes from, but it's something that breaks down the nervous system. Breaking us down so they can put jolts into us. We are the Frankenstein monsters. Really. We've been pieced together. We've been broken down, pieced together, and then charged up. And we're getting to the point where we don't want to be tied down anymore. And people are wanting freedom. And that's where the real you comes in. Now you're going to be experiencing what that is. And it's going to be messy. Maybe the real you is somebody who's angry. Maybe the real you is somebody who wants to harm. You got to get get help for that. Don't be doing anything. Don't be doing it. Maybe the real you, maybe you always had to be super, super tough. I knew so many people in New York City and even Los Angeles when I lived there uh, who were like this. They put on this super tough exterior, but they were the most sensitive people. Some of the best, not that it's competition, but some of the best supportive uh, viewers that I have come out of New York City. I don't know if that, it's because New York is a part of me now. I don't know. But I just want you all to know I see you. I think I understand. I feel like I understand. You'll have to be the judge of that. And I love you. I really do. And I would love... For all of you who feel like you have to have that tough exterior to be able to open up your sensitive nature without it being taken advantage of because now you're strong enough you know how to uh take care of business right you know how to take care of business and i remember i was always that person who um at first i was very very shy and kind of let people push me around and then now at my age I'm still kind to people when they take advantage of that kindness or and taking advantage of the kindness is like acting like you say good morning to someone and they like blow you off you know just these little things that are just meant to kind of dig at your energy and to make you feel down or to make you feel stupid or whatever the case may be that's where I would set like a strong boundary right and and these days my strong boundary is shutting off my energy and you get no more of that kindness again i'm a stellium scorpio so i have this incredible superpower to make like you don't exist and it's not just like i'm playing game no oh you're gonna act like that on to something else you're in the background somewhere just backgrounding i guess so just keep that in mind. The real you is trying to emerge. Give it some space to do so. AngelSouls444.com. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.